<laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap the antenna on a 2015 WRX. That's uh, good for the 2015 through 2017 WRX, maybe 18, I don't know. But the reason why I'm doing this video is because a lot of people ask about it. It's very uh, hard to do because of the shape of this antenna. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you pre-stretch the material and you wanna use the technology of the vinyl to actually wrap this. So when you're, when you're wrapping with this film, uh, I'll show you guys some, some little techniques of them. So let's just kind of start off with the technology of the material. Oh, fuck. What up, guys? Uh, oh, yeah. Alright, first things first. When you're wrapping these antennas, they're a little difficult. We're going to wrap it in one piece. We're going to show you how to do that. Uh, the first thing I want to do is kind of demonstrate the technology of the vinyl. So using the proper material, um, Avery or 3M, uh, you'll, you'll be able to see there's a lot of technology built into the film. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to heat it. And I'll kind of just give you an idea of the technology that I'm telling you about that we're going to use to wrap this antenna. So if you notice, I just heated it. You can basically stretch that material, mess it up. It looks pretty bad, but this has a memory to it. So with that said, once you heat it again, it'll go back to its normal shape. So you can do that over and over and over again. And that's the technology that we're gonna to use to actually wrap the antenna. So let me show you guys how that's done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat it up real well. We're gonna pre-stretch the material. Stretching it by probably 15 to 20%. So if you see that now it's stretched and it's definitely a lot longer than my initial piece. You know, the piece actually gained about, I would say, two to three inches in, in length because of that. From here, you don't want to go in. And we use the, the side of the car as a kind of an aid to do this. We're gonna start the back of the antenna. We're gonna work down and down and work that middle. And then we will come this way and that way. And basically it's gonna leave us with a, bol a bulger material that we gotta actually pull over here. But it's gonna be using the pre-stretch method and actually shrinking it back into place. See what I'm doing is I'm kind of getting that back piece laid. And then using the technology of the material to shrink back and relieve some of that. But now we're gonna shrink it back onto this antenna. So if, you, if you've seen that, as soon as I heated it up, it actually shrank back into place. I'm gonna shrink this up a little bit. So the idea is to have no tension down here in this area. Once the material is laid, it should be shrinking back into place and just sitting very, very comfortably right here. So right now at this point we have the back wrapped and we have the side wrapped. So this side becomes a little more difficult because you're gonna have a lot of tension that wants to build up on this side. So the way we do that, we're gonna Leave that over there. I basically keep it up here and tack it to the car. This kind of helps you hold it. And then we're gonna heat this and holding the proper like tension, it should shrink into place. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and start there and kind of work your way down. See that it's shrinking. Still gonna have to hold a little bit of tension and you will have to get it around and then you're gonna have to bring this back up. You have to shrink it back. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here. I'm gonna keep that again and I'm gonna let it pull down into place. So it looks a little crazy, but just work out those wrinkles. So there's tension here. So I'm gonna try to relieve that a little bit more. Okay, so let's go ahead and heat that. Let's let it come back. I can feel it moving back into place and shrinking up. And that's what you want. So I got a little bit back there that I need to work. So it's not moving anymore, which is great. That's a good indication. This is basically the hardest part of the antenna here. So now we have here forward to work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you put a little bit of heat up here and then work around.
If you notice, I'm using the, my glove on this whole piece. So it's important to have a glove handy. It's all the gloves on our website too. They're these brand new premium branded gloves. They work really well. So I need a little bit of heat to shrink this piece. So you see what we have here now? No tension back here, no tension over here, very minimal tension over here. There, there, this is where the most buildup was, it was the opposite side. So this is the second side that we did. So there tends to be one, want to be more tension on this side. So we will have to go in, post heat this really well. We'll have to go and additionally tuck it in further so we have a better hold. But <clears throat> for the most part, we're getting close. So it's very, very easy to look at it and read the material and find out where your tension's at. And I want to show you the difference between a side that has tension and a side that doesn't. No tension over here, it's very, very relaxed. It's kind of just sitting there. But when you go over here, you'll notice there's a lot more tension right here. Basically, this is fairly decent, but it's really bad right here. So I want to fix that. I want to make sure that, that we give it a good post heat. You're going to want to heat this material up to about 180 degrees, almost up to 200. And what that's going to do is going to kill the memory in this material. If you go back to when I pushed the material in and I brought it back, um, the way to stop that is you get it post heated up to about 180 to 200 degrees and you lose the memory in the material and it won't actually shrink back. You want to do the same thing here. So you want to shrink these or you want to post heat this to where it doesn't shrink back on you. So I'm going to go ahead and work the material all the way around. A little bit of heat. And at this point I'm not going to be stretching it. I am going to be holding it taut so it stays in place. But I'm trying to let it kind of just relax into place. A little bit of there. That just pulled right into place very nicely. Okay, so you'll see here with the, the side with the most tension, I went ahead and laid that first. I'm going in around the line of the antenna so it has extra hold there. I do need to come back and get this real quick. Okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Cool. This is hard. I know. Yeah, don't worry about it. Thanks for being the, the camera guy and the heat man. So, all right. First things first. We're actually going to go ahead and cut this material here. So if you see what I'm doing is, I'm definitely giving it a lot extra material to actually tuck around. Once again, this is the side that had the most tension. This over here is going to lay very, very easily. So you're going to repeat the steps over there, but you have less to worry about on the other side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually heat this up right in here. And you want to lay all that very, very cleanly in there. Just have an additional hold. And in addition to that, you're going to want to go in and post heat this up. You see that there's no movement, so it's, it's laid really, really comfortably and relaxed into place. So that's not going anywhere. And there it is. So the antenna is done all in one piece. There's no seam on it. So if you go ahead and watch me heat this up, you're gonna notice that it, it doesn't move. It's gonna stay where it needs to stay at. That's because it was you know, pre-stretched pre into place. Post heated to hold it all down. And that's that, all one piece, no seam, uh, shouldn't go anywhere. I will say this, I've wrapped these multiple times, they failed, so you have to really perfect your skill. You know, even myself, you know, from time to time, we have to rewrap the antenna because they are a little difficult. So be ready for that and uh, just keep practicing.